at 532. Happening today, history in the making. This morning, the Mermaid City plans to swear in its first ever African American mayor. That ceremony is set to take place on the steps of City Hall at 10 o'clock. Rico Bush is live in downtown Norfolk with more on this important milestone. Rico, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Katie will certainly be a monumental day for the city of Norfolk in just a matter of hours. Mayor elect Kenny Alexander and two other councilwomen will take their place in history when they are sworn into office, and then that's when the real work begins. Alexander says once he takes his oath today, he will get to work in building a brighter future for the city. He is Norfolk's first new mayor in 22 years. Current Mayor Paul Frame announced last year he wouldn't seek re-election and eventually endorse Alexander. In May, State Senator Alexander, a Norfolk native, decisively won the mayoral election, beating his nearest opponent by double digits. His win marked a big moment in Norfolk's history. Shortly after his historic victory, the mayor-elect laid out his vision for the city with ten on your side and crime top the list. I think we need to engage in a, a strong community engagement uh, to build that trust and that respect. Alexander is leaving his fifth district seat in the state Senate. Governor Terry McAuliffe will schedule an election to fill the void. Sources tell tenure side Andy's Fox that delegate Joe Lindsay from Norfolk and delegate Lionel Spruill of Chesapeake have expressed interest in running. Meanwhile, Mayor Paul Frame said after he leaves office today, he will continue to practice law. I'm live in Norfolk, Rico Bush, tenure side.